Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, MindBuild77. And in this podcast video, I'm going to be talking about where did the wither come from in Minecraft? So I'm sure many of you have an answer to this question um, from the nether, because you have to get three wither skulls to make it, and they're from the nether. But you don't have to spawn it in the nether. Lots of times people spawn it in the overworld, so that means that it doesn't come from the nether. At least, that's not where it spawns. You could spawn it anywhere that you want. So then, where was it supposed to come from? I have talked about this before in another video, saying that um, because there's carvings in the sandstone of a wither um, in temples, and in real life, whenever people do, did that, it was because there was some sort of god. So I said that maybe in Minecraft, the wither is supposed to be a god. Um, but still, where did it come from? Like, which, um, which dimension did it come from? The nether or the overworld? Um, the end, I don't even know if you could spawn it in the end. But... You get it from you get the materials to make it all from the nether because you need the soul sand and the um, nether skulls. Um, so it's a product of the nether, but that's not where you spawn it. I still stand behind the theory that the wither is supposed to be some sort of god, and you spawn it, you have to summon it, or else it won't. It's not like a mob that. Um, it just roams around. Um, you have to actually um, want to spawn it. So then to that question of where did the wither come from, I'd have to say that it comes from the nether. You have to mine stuff from the nether to actually get it. Um, not mine, but actually gather things from the nether. But I think that it is supposed to be a god because it's overpowered for one and also it seems like it's being worshipped by whoever built the temples because they have carvings of it in the sandstone. But I have another question about the Wither Star. So you guys know that whenever you kill the Wither, you get the Wither Star. But what do you really use that for? Whenever you kill the Ender Dragon, um, I'll use this as an example, you get the Dragon Egg which is supposed to be this huge thing that you got the dragon egg. But you can't really do anything with it. The only thing that you could do with the dragon egg is place it somewhere, as like a symbol that you killed the ender dragon. And it's the same with the wither star. You kill the wither, and then you get the wither star. But what do you do with the actual star? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You actually can use the wither star for something. But only one thing. I just forgot about it. Um, you actually can use the Wither Star to make a, a a beacon, and it's like you have to have a Wither Star to make a beacon. Um, but I mean, beacons are used so that you can find your way back to your house. And after killing the most overpowered boss, or at least the one with the most health in the game, the entire game of Minecraft, once you kill it. You can make a beam of light. It's like you can make this beam of colored light. That's it. That's all that you could use it for. And I'm not too fond of that because, you know, you want to kill it and then make something useful out of it. And I'm not saying that, like, um, a beacon isn't useful, but I just think that whenever you kill something like a boss, you should get a bigger reward. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, this podcast video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you guys are enjoying the podcast series that I'm doing, and I'll see you in the next one.